One of my favorite features to teach people in Windows training is Snap. Windows Snap is a feature that allows you to quickly and easily split the screen in two using a keyboard, mouse, pen, or touch. So you can quickly get one app to sit perfectly alongside of another. This feature has been in Windows in a similar form since Windows 7, well over 10 years. And yet, surprisingly few people who use a Windows computer at work on a daily basis know about it. In Windows 11, Snap has been improved with some new features that we'll take a look at. Give Snap a try by grabbing an open window with your mouse from the app's title bar. That's the space at the top that usually has the name of the app in it. And drag the app until your mouse pointer, the arrow, touches the left or the right edge of the screen, somewhere around the middle. You'll notice some visual feedback that tells you that your app is about to snap into that half of the screen. Let your mouse button go at this point and the window will fill that space of the screen. On the other side of the screen, you'll see a feature called Snap Assist that shows you all of the other apps that are currently open on your device. Click on one of those to have it fill the other space. So I might have a research paper on one side of the screen and OneNote on the other side of the screen where I'm taking some notes. You can do this with any app, sometimes even two copies of the same app. For example, I could have two Excel spreadsheets sitting side by side or two Word documents. Try this out with touch or pen. Using your fingertip or pen tip, exactly the same way as the mouse, dragging from the top bar until your fingertip touches the left or the right edge of the screen. It's a little trickier to do with touch, but once you've mastered it, it'll be a very handy tool in your digital skills repertoire. Also, try dragging your window from the title bar into the right or left-hand corners at the top and the bottom of the screen. You'll notice that the app splits into a quarter rather than half. Drag a window to the top of the screen and the app will maximize. You can do this with the keyboard too. The Windows key and the left or the right arrow keys will snap the window that you're working with into the next left or right position on the screen. Try also using the Windows key with the up or down arrow to snap the window into a quarter or to minimize it. Everything that we've shown you so far, you could do back in Windows 10. So what's changed with Windows 11? Point your mouse to the maximize button on the top right of a window, pause for a second, and you'll see some new options for snap. This new layout feature allows you to snap windows into different zones, depending on your screen size. For example, if you have a wide or high resolution screen, you may see the option to split apps into three vertical columns. There can be up to six different layout options here. Point to the zone that you want the app to appear in and it will fit itself into that space. Once again, the Snap Assist feature will appear in one of the other spaces, showing you the other apps. Snap Assist will appear in sequence to allow you to fill the other spaces. At the moment, these new Snap Zones are automatically determined based on the size of your screen. But if you want to go even further with this, there is an option. We have another video on a tool called Fancy Zones that can be found in the Windows 10 Power Toys app released by the Microsoft Garage. You can still use Fancy Zones from Windows 10 Power Toys on Windows 11. So if you need more flexibility and customization with Snap Zones, take a look at that app. We'll leave a link below. Once you have your app set up and using the Snap feature, Windows 11 will remember that these apps are connected together using a feature called Snap Groups. So let's say I have two apps split in half on the screen and I open a third app for a moment and then I want to get back to my original set of apps that were there snapped together. Point to one of the app icons on the taskbar, pause for a moment, and you'll see the app previews appear. Normally these app previews would show you all of the open windows for that app, but since we're using Snap, you'll see an extra option appearing here, which is the group of apps that we snap together. Clicking on that preview will restore the set of apps to the front. If you want to tweak the settings of Windows Snap, search for Snap from your Windows Start menu. You can also go to the Settings app, System, and Multitasking. Now that you know about Windows Snap, give it a try on Windows 11. And remember that practice makes progress. So if you don't find it easy the first time, give it a few more tries until you've mastered it. If you found this tip helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more Windows 11 tips.